This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. When we first look at putting charts onto a report, we said that we can only put charts into report headers or footers or group headers or footers. Now, if we want to put a chart, this one for example, sales bar chart labeled for AdventureWorks, inside a group header, it will be filtered by the value of that grouping. So this chart at the minute shows internet sales for the whole of AdventureWorks for 2007 to 2008. If we add a grouping to this report, so if we go to Group Expert and choose to add a grouping based on the sales territory, and we'll use the sales territory key, but we'll get it to display the sales territory region by customizing the group name field and choosing a sales territory region. So although it's grouping on the ID, it's using the region name to display on the report. OK, OK. And that will produce our groupings. And you can see in the navigation on the left, we have 10. Northwest, Northeast, Central, Southwest, Southeast, Canada, France, Germany, Australia, and United Kingdom. If we then go into design, and effectively move this chart into the group header, we should get internet sales for AdventureWorks for each of the groups. Let's make a little bit of room and see what happens. Rather than move it, I'm going to copy it and then paste it into the group heading. So in design, we get one chart in the report header, one chart in the group header. In preview, we get one chart in the report header and then a broken down chart in each of the group headings. So Northwest, this is their sales. And you can see that they differ from the main sales. That goes up to 2,000, 000, so that's 2 million. This goes up to 280K. If we jump to United Kingdom, you can see their chart. Or Germany, see their chart. So any charts placed within a grouping, either in the group header or the group footer, depending on where you would like them to appear within the report, they are filtered by the grouping value. So in this case, we've gone for sales territory. This data that feeds this chart effectively has been filtered by, in that case, Germany, in that case, Australia, in that case, the Southeast. They haven't done particularly well, have they? So that's placing chart in a grouping. Now, when you place a group chart, which is effectively what we've done, and then you wish to make a change to a chart, so we select any one of the charts, right click, what you'll find at Chart Expert is there are two options. Either we can access the chart expert that will make any changes to the group template, so that's every chart within every group, or apply to this instance only. So we can make a change to just this chart, to the Southwest chart. So if we go to Applied to Group Template, what I'm going to show you is that on the text bit, we've customized these ourselves, but if we let the subtitle become auto text and we remove text we placed in, you can see that what Crystal Reports put in is for at sales territory key. So it's actually going to put the subtitle as the name of the group we are in. OK. So that becomes for Southwest, for Southeast, for United Kingdom. So by allowing Crystal Reports to use its auto text feature in this case, it's actually placing the group heading within the chart. Let's right click Chart Expert. So long as we choose apply to group template, it will do it for all of them. If you just choose apply to this instance, it will only control this graph. So it might be for this particular graph, we don't want it to say for GB, so for England. OK, and you can see we've overwritten what the group heading is, but on each of the others, we haven't. It matches the group heading. So let's right click chart expert and then make the correct decision based on what you're trying to do. If you make the wrong decision here, you could possibly only change one chart, or you could possibly change all of the group charts when you might not have meant to. So that's a group chart within the group heading in this case, but it could be in the group footer. We'll always filter by the data of that group. 